hundred percent. Uh hundred percent. Um it just showed, you know, our fight. You know, we never thought we was out to fight. And then, you know, just Brady scoring the last touchdown, you know, that's you can't ask for a better finish than that. Theo, you said I think a couple of weeks ago that you're starting to believe in some for all magic. <laughs> I, I mean, what, what is it in those moments that, that that allows you guys to kind of just come alive and, and yeah, honestly, I want to take back the, the magic. I think it's us, the team, really. Um, just how bought in we are and just how, you know, connected we are. You know, we we never flinch. Like, no matter the situation, you know, it's a, it's a true brotherhood. And, you know, we just we put everything on the line for each other. And, you know, it turns out good, undefeated at home. When games get to one score like that, do you guys feel like, not saying it's already a victory, but you're kind of bringing that team to your style of football? Just yeah, we you know we just we know we're in control and you know we we definitely um, stay focused and maintain that control and you know just just keep dominating the assignment. You on that seventy-yard play once the ball's in your hands and you're running across a pretty slippery field? Just what's going through your mind when you're running down the field? Well, I take you through it. Um, I caught the ball. I knew I was gonna spin out the corner. Uh, I put my head down. When I put my head up, I look instantly at the screen just to see like who's behind me, what's going on. I seen 30. I wasn't worried about him. I was worried about the corner. He had a good angle on me. Kind of ran out of gas a little bit. I'm still a little mad about that. But, uh, you know, it, it was actually, this was my first snow game. So, you know, it was actually fun, um, you know, actually playing in it, just, you know, just getting that feel for it. But um, once it stopped falling down, I don't, the conditions were, it was pretty cool. It was just playing it. It was easy. How, how much did it impact you guys? I mean, did the game plan change once you came out and it was, was a little more than you probably expected? Uh, not really. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say the game plan changed. I would just say just our um, our mentality that we approached the game with. You know, we just had to just amp it up just a little bit more because of the weather conditions. But you know, we can't let external factors, you know, be a factor in the in the game and winning or losing. Yeah, what does it mean to you to not just win this game for the entire senior class, but especially for the guys that have been here since 2020 when this was far from what they are right now? Right. Yeah. I didn't start my um, college career here, but I definitely wanted to put everything in the line for those guys. You know, they've been through a lot. They, they've been through the ups and downs and whatnot. And, you know, just you know, just really connecting with them and just really being brothers with them, I just really wanted to finish it out right for them. Theo, given how much you put on the line here in the last couple of years, that moment freaking walking out of the tunnel alongside all of your brothers, take us through your thoughts and emotions. Yeah, I had chills. Um, you know, it's the last one. I was just I was just talking to Nate Noel in the locker room. I started getting a little emotional, you know, just thinking about it. But um, I'm excited, you know, and it was definitely a blessing. I wouldn't want to finish my college career nowhere else. Theo, asked, uh, with you, uh, Cooper, and uh, Luther all leaving this group uh, as veterans, uh, how, what, how confident are you that some of the younger guys like Josh Manning and Marquise Johnson can kind of bring in this new group of receivers and keep on the legacy of the nasty White House? I'm 100%, um, 110% confident in that group and, and the younger guys in the room. Um, I think everybody's going to elevate their game, you know, just because that's going to be the demand. And I think um, that we step up to the plate real well. So I feel like everybody's going to step up to the plate. You know, it didn't start snowing until today. So how did you guys prepare for something most of y'all never really experienced? Was there kind of a surprise element to, OK, you didn't we couldn't do this in practice, so here it is in the game. The only the, the worst part about it was just pregame when it was coming down. You couldn't really see. You know, we had our visors out, but I wouldn't say nothing really just changed. You know, we just we just had to talk with ourselves. We said we weren't playing the weather. We were playing the Razorbacks, so you know, we just took the weather out the picture. Did you ever consider wearing sleeves tonight? Or? Nah, I, I usually I use, I just don't really like playing in sleeves. Just me personally. But then, you know, it kind of intimidates the opponent a little bit and it's snowing and you don't got sleeves on, so stick with it. Well, how much is that a battle with yourself? Do you psych yourself out and say it's not cold or you know it's cold, but you're still trying to? Oh, it's all mindset. Uh, you know, I'm, I feel like my brain is wired. My brain is wired a little different. So it's definitely the mindset. I was telling myself it wasn't cold the whole game, but it was cold after the game for sure. You said a while back that um, you're able to get into a flow state um, during uh, practices and games. Can you take us into Yeah, just um, you know, just taking your mind to a place where you can really just um, just settle in and really just focus on the task at hand. I feel like um, our offense, we do that a lot actually, and we don't really realize it. So I feel like that last drive, that was just a flow state moment for the whole offense, honestly. You guys still have a whole game for which to prepare, obviously.
obviously, but Theo, as you begin to look toward the future, what are some of the areas that you feel as if you've sharpened the most here during your last year on campus individually? I think just, um, you know, being, uh, being, getting better at leadership qualities, you know, leadership traits, um, just being more vocal, you know, understanding how to be a, a better teammate for younger guys, older guys, you know, so I'll say that's probably the, the biggest thing I learned coming here. Theo, you can't can't do anything about the three losses happening. Yeah. But just overall, how would you describe this season for Mizzou and you? I, I enjoyed it. You know, we enjoyed every bit of it, honestly, wins and losses. Because, you know, just at the end of the day, you're going to battle with your brothers. And once you really, like, love the person to the next, to your left and right, like, it, it just means different. It really doesn't even matter about the outcome of the game. You're just going out there and just putting it all on the line for the man next to you. So I'm, I'm excited. About, I was excited about it for sure. You know, you mentioned a couple of times talking about your brothers, you know, the uh, rest of your teammates and everything. But what does it mean to you personally? You stated that you didn't start your career here, but you ended your career here. What did it mean for you to be able to go get a rock? This is my home. Como, Como is my home, for sure. Um, it's been nothing but love from the first day I got here, you know, and through all the ups and downs I've been through in my career, um, I just I just really embrace, you know, just all the adversity I've been through, and I'm I'm just glad that I was able to finish it all, finish my college career on the right note. Theo, how do you feel about you know, elevating the floor of this program when you came in and something three straight 500 seasons, but now at least nine wins in back-to-back -back season, possibly getting a double-digit wins in back-to-back -back season? It feels great, you know those sayings, just you know leave it better than you found it. You know, I found it. Um, I think they were coming off a six and six or six and seven, whatever it was. And now we're headed to, um, you know, back to back 10 win seasons. So it's, it's, it's I'm honestly just speechless, just speak, just thinking about all of it, you know, just everything we've been through from the past two years that I, I mean, from the past year that I've been here and everything. But I love Mizzou. I love everything about Mizzou. And I'll definitely be back. <laughs> You, know, you talked about um, your decision to come here from Oklahoma in the first place, but also what about your decision last offseason uh, choosing to come back for one more season at Mizzou? Um, what does this journey now look like in that final year? Uh, it looks it looks great. Um, you know, I decided to come back just for a lot of reasons, you know, just develop my game a little more, you know, just like I was saying with the leadership traits, you know, get some more, get better at that, just so I could take that on to the NFL and whatnot. But I wouldn't change anything about the season, honestly. You know, I enjoyed it with my brothers. Thank you, Theo. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.